Hi, Nat. Hi. Hi. Sarah Kaisat. Yeah, yeah, nice Hi. To um, I just read the Entertainment Weekly article, and it says Josh Boone says, that's my guy. I will never make a movie without Nat Wolf. Um, yeah. You're basically his Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Blackmail is really, works really well. Yeah, really, uh, I mean, does it up with some pressure tactic. on you? No, I mean, at the opposite. I feel like Josh Boone is, it puts pressure on me in the way that I, I don't know if I feel worthy. Uh, Josh Boone, I really think, is one of the great directors of this generation. And, uh, you know, I've been with him on his first movie where I played yeah. him as an awkward teenager, basically. And now I got to play this part, this beautiful part in front of him. dresses in these like three piece suits and I wear but no Josh and I we're gonna do another movie together um I that guess. just got announced yeah it just got announced I didn't know we were allowed to talk about it but apparently we are he so tell us a little about it um I don't really know that much yet but it's The Stand which I think the yes. book is amazing and I guess he's got a part for me I don't know which part <laughs> I mean, I will do anything for Josh. He's taking you along up. for the ride. Because I know when he's involved in the project, it's going to be something that's it's going to be uh, great. He gets great performances out of actors, and it's somebody that I just 100 percent trust. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what did you do for this role? I mean, yes, it's a supporting role, but it's an important role. And I mean, you obviously have a candy cap that develops halfway through. Yeah, and to me, I mean, it, you know, a support a supporting role can for me can be even sometimes more difficult than when I played bigger role, you know, leading roles, just because. You know, you kind of got to find your through line because your scenes are kind of all over the place yeah. in the movie. Um, but a lot of it was just figuring out the blind thing. It was figuring out technically how to play blind and then just, and, and, and how to, uh, uh, you know, emotionally take that on. And I met with a guy named Ethan, who was a real blind guy, and he got dumped when he was 19, and he was really funny. <laughs> Sure, you know, he had a cynical edge yeah. to the way he dealt with it, and I wanted to make sure that, like, that my character was a funny guy, not that he was, like, the butt of the joke, yeah. you know, not that everybody's he was bumbling around and people yeah. were making fun of him, because I didn't think that would be fair to, to blind people, you know, yeah. I wanted to make something that, where he had a little dignity, but he brought levity to the story, because, you know, there's, yeah. you know, a lot of tears, yeah. a lot of tears. Involved. Did you wear a contact for that? Yeah, one? so I wore blinding contacts. Okay. For, I didn't movie. know there was such a... Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> you put them in your eyes and you literally can't see anything. Oh, so, wow. In a way, and I was really scared in the beginning because I was actually blind, but it's perfect for the character because I'm supposed to have just gone yeah, blind. And also, exactly. like, once you put those in, it kind of frees you up. You're not self-conscious anymore because uh -huh. you're looking at You don't see the camera. You don't see anything. Yeah. You just see black. Yeah. Um, and then when I was supposed to have one eye gone, I would just wear one blinding contact and it kind of took my... I kind of your depth, off balance. yeah. My death perception was off. Yeah. I watched the movie and I was like... Wow, I didn't even realize, but my body language is different. You know, yeah. The first half of the movie, my body language is different. Yeah. Awesome. And I like that. Yeah. Well, thank you cool. so much. Thank you so much. For thank you. Me. Can't stop me. I'm fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's tight. Don't even try to bite the side. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.